Welcome back. Week one of the NRL finals has arrived, and while the prominent players are expected to excel, certain individuals within the eight teams who may not receive as much recognition will play pivotal roles. From the hard-working unsung heroes to those whose valuable contributions often get overshadowed by the more renowned players on their respective teams. Here are the underrated players to keep an eye on from each team in no particular order. Leo Thompson from the Newcastle Knights. Losing a quality prop like David Klemmer was a challenge for the Knights this season, but Thompson's growth has filled the gap seamlessly in the middle. Starting the season with the Maori All-Stars, the 23-year-old has become an automatic choice in Newcastle's starting lineup. He sets an aggressive tone with his early exchanges, displaying strong defense with a 94% tackle efficiency rate in 23 appearances. I keep it pretty simple, brother. Um, I run hard, tackle hard, and you know, let, let everyone else worry about you know, game plan and targeting people in there. Thompson is the kind of player you want on your side during the intense early moments of a match. Oh, by Newcastle. Oh, the offlay was a hospital pass. Oh, that's a tackle. Leo, Leo Thompson. Thompson. Uh, number 17. Look at the reaction of the Knights players. He was on the bench on his own there. Jack Williams, Cronulla Sharks. This year, he's become a key substitute player and recently stepped up following Dale Finn Ukane's season-ending injury, which forced Cameron McInnes into a starting role. Despite a shoulder injury limiting him to six games last year, the 26-year-old has played in 23 out of 24 games this season. With past disappointments in qualifying finals with Cronulla in 2019 and 2020, he's eager to create better postseason memories as he nears his 100th NRL appearance. Matthew Tomoko from the Canberra Raiders. Tomoko stands out as the Raiders' top outside attacking threat this season, filling the role even when others like Rapana and Chris have played at fullback. His blend of power and speed has troubled opponents throughout 2023, resulting in 11 tries and 14 line breaks, both team highs. Tomoko's exceptional work rate is also noteworthy as he has run for over 200 metres in seven games this season, including a remarkable 250 metre performance in round 27 against the Sharks from 21 carries. You know, to be able to kind of cement that starting spot um, this year, it's been wonders for my confidence, and yeah, hopefully um, we use all that confidence up this week and uh, carry on into the finals. New Zealand Warriors, Rocco Berry. Berry plays a crucial role on the high-performing right edge this season, supporting Zelezniak in scoring 21 tries. He also leads the kick chase on the right side, benefiting Sean Johnson. Berry's defensive physicality near the line is valuable. While not a game-breaker, he excels in executing essential tasks to contribute to the team's overall game plan. Billy Smith from the Sydney Roosters. Despite a history of injuries, the 23-year-old has made a remarkable comeback from his third ACL injury in five years during round 10 this season. He has consistently played 80 minutes in 13 out of 14 appearances, staying relatively healthy. His recent performance has showcased his skill in breaking through defensive lines, contributing to the team's current five-game winning streak. With an average of 121 run metres and over four tackle breaks per game, this Kensington Saints junior is finally realising his potential at the top level. It's super special, you know, being here and playing finals and, and seeing the buzz around uh, the eastern suburbs at the moment. Um, but in saying that, we've got a long way to go. We, you know, we want to go all the way this year, so... Sunia Taruva from the Penrith Panthers. With just three NRL games before 2023, 
Taruva stepped up due to Taylor May's injury and excelled. The 21-year-old Fijian ranks sixth in the league for average meters, gained at 170 per game, and has broken through 109 tackles in 23 games. His hard work is crucial for Penrith, which relies on their outside backs to handle tough tasks each week. We're back here next week against the Warriors. Yep. Uh, I guess it's going to be another massive clash, and uh, I guess we call out all the home fans to come back and support the boys. No, 100%. Probably back it out just like this, or even uh, a bit more, but yeah. Should be a good clash against the Waz. Um, they've been going well lately, so yeah, we've got, we got our hands full next week. Ellie Katoa from the Melbourne Storm. The former Warriors forward joined the Storm this year with untapped potential. In 18 games, he's become one of the best signings in 2023. Playing alongside Trent Liero, the 22-year-old averages 34-plus tackles and 104-plus run metres per game, securing a consistent spot in coach Craig Bellamy's lineup. While not yet a household name in the star-studded Storm team, Katoa is definitely catching the eye of opposing teams during video reviews. Yeah, obviously excited. I'm excited about the challenge. Um, I didn't play against them the last time we, we met them. Uh, obviously, they're, they're currently um, side. They're, yeah, they're, they're on the top of the table for, for a reason. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a, a tough challenge for us, but yeah, I think the boys are looking forward to it. And finally, we have the Brisbane Broncos' Jordan Rickey. In a forward pack featuring stars like Payne Haas, Patrick Carrigan and Thomas Flegler, Ricky has quietly excelled in the 2023 season. After a foot injury sidelined him in June, he's been given more responsibility since his return in round 24, stepping up in the absence of regular leaders. Averaging 29 tackles per game, Ricky is not only contributing to the Broncos, but also eyeing a potential debut for the Kiwi Test team later this year, having represented the Maori All-Stars twice in recent years. Like I said before, you know, we're all such a, a such a tight group and I think we all just want the best for each other at the moment. And, um, you know, we've all got one goal at the moment and that's to win the grand final. So, yeah, that's the, that's the main thing for us at the moment. And that's a wrap. Let me know if you agree or would choose other players over the ones listed in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us.